Welcome back to another episode on the Thor 76 build. Today, we are talking about storage. Well, when you've got a conversion, storage is everything. You know, the 76, they're not a big unit. They're a mid wheelbase car, which means you don't have a lot of space to play with. So you gotta be clever. What we've decided to do is opt for a really custom build in the back here. We started with a hardwood floor. We wanted something that when we were out and about traveling, climbing up into what is exactly the purpose of a conversion, that we could at least get in here and sweep all the muck out at the end of the trip, giving us a nice hard base without having to worry about all the grime getting into the carpet. Outside of that, we just started to think about cabinetry and how we were going to make the most of a fundamentally fairly small space. But as you can see here, I'm sitting in here, had it be raining outside or blowing a gale, I can actually really comfortably get away from the elements. I've even got a nice little spot up here if I was doing some work on the road that I can work standing up on a laptop. We've built in some nice, clever, any negative space, we've built in some cupboards to be able to get into to our bits and pieces that we want to store away. Behind here, we've stored all of our 12 volt system, our batteries and, and all of the likes. Here, we've built in a little bit of a seat, but it's also got storage correctly in there as well. We've also mounted in these railings across the ground so we can tie things down when we have fewer bits and pieces and we don't want things bouncing around. So that's the internal part and it really is quite a useful space. I can comfortably get two of us in here if we need be, sitting on the back of the spare chairs, of course. This is still a five seater. We can still run around with the kids in the back seat day to day or maybe we've just got some extra passengers. So we keep this as a five seater. We're running it like that daily but when we go out on bigger trips, if it's just me, me and a mate, we push that chair towards the front and we maximise the space that we've got out here. As we come towards the back of the vehicle, we really got a little bit clever with how we set this up. We wanted to make sure that we had obviously a good fridge. A 43 litre fridge was really ample for what we needed. Perfect front opening fridge allowed us to obviously get that into here. We've put in the Iron Man oven directly above there. These are a great unit to be able to chuck in some pies as you're on your way, maybe doing a roast as you're driving through to get to camp and have all your food warm and ready to go. We've got the Alucab Molly plates on both sides of the vehicle. Uh, these are fantastic. You can just tie and, and attach anything that you'd like on here. I put a lot of just nicks and knacks, recovery bits and pieces. My air tie deflate is always in there. And then we've got these Iron Man bags, which are like a door card replacement bag. Fantastic little zipper pockets at the back here so we can store our stuff in there. I've got fuel canisters for our gas stove, got some cereals and fire lighters, other bits and pieces all tied away nicely in there. And then really we wanted to maximize having some space here. So we've, we've built in a nice twin story uh, little bench space here. We've had some nice stainless steel custom made here that we can get in. So we've got some drawer space here and in here. I've got olive oils and salt and peppers and some paper plates and cutlery and other bits and pieces. Of course, when I need to get that all out of the way, we just beautifully fold that down. We can retract that in. We retract in again and away we go. We've got heaps of other storage space over here. I've got a good set of tools in there as well as my gas cooker sits in there perfectly. And we'll go around the side and see a really nice little addition, the Gullwing from the Cruiser Company. So knowing that we had that whole cabinetry behind there, there was a lot of negative space here and otherwise would have just been one of the cruiser's standard pop-out windows. So what we opted for here is a gull wing. We looked around the market to see what was available and I had a chat with the boys from the cruiser company and this is what they came back with. And it's a fantastic bit of kit, really nicely folded to wrap around the edges, gas strut opening, uh, bolt-in frame. What we've done here is we've again, we've just made a bit of a custom nook here. We've got some bottle holders there, some glasses. We keep in our little Iron Man cutlery roll. This is kind of like our little bar and kitchen set up to complement what we've got going on out the back there. So realistically, for a mid wheelbase 76 series, we're really not lacking when it comes to space. We're really able to get absolutely all the essentials for our triple white. Absolutely love it. This was all done by the van fitouts, Melbourne van fitouts down there in, in Dandenong South, not too far away from our head offices. Uh, all custom made and designed for our purpose. Fantastic having those kinds of fit-out companies around and available. Again, if you've got any questions on this part of the build, please hit us in the comments below. We'd be more than happy to come back with any answers. And stay tuned for further episodes where we're gonna get into the conversion, the awning, and all the LUCAB bits and pieces.